In exercise number five, you will become more familiar with helical entry, the use of pre-drilling techniques, as well as the performance of small tools in iMachining 2D. Perform step one by loading the solid cam part used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise5.prz. If SolidWorks is not already opened, SolidWorks, SolidCam, and the cam part will launch automatically. Note that a milling cam part has already been created for this exercise. The CNC machine controller, coordinate system, stock model, and target model are defined. The machine and work material definitions for the iMachining data have also been selected during the cam part definition process. If you double-click the tool header to display the part tool table dialog box, you will see that several tools are defined. There is a 9.5mm end mill with 24mm cutting length and 5 flutes, as well as a smaller 6.5mm end mill with 24mm cutting length and 4 flutes. These tools are used to perform the eye rough, eye rest, and eye finish operations in this exercise. There are also two drilling tools defined. A 4mm drill and a 1.65mm drill are used to perform drilling of the holes. During this exercise, two more tools will be defined to perform additional machining operations. Click OK to close the part tool table dialog box. In addition, note there are two iMachining 2D operations defined to perform the rough and finish machining of the outside shape. The 9.5mm diameter end mill is used for both operations. Two chains are defined, with the first being the stock boundary and the second being the outside contour of the target model. The stock chain is marked as open, enabling the tool to approach from outside. iRough has a 0.24mm offset on the walls and the eye finish operation performs the finishing of the outside shape. At this stage, Step 1 is complete and the cam part is loaded.